Hello again and welcome to day three of our journey through St Mark's Gospel for Lent. Uh, today's passage is um, rather a long one actually. It's Mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 45. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him, when they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighbouring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. A leper came to him, begging him, and kneeling, he said to him, if you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once, saying to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go. Show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony to them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word so that Jesus could no longer go into a town openly, but stayed out in the country and people came to him from every quarter. Well, today we see Jesus having a, a very, very busy day, and the day is characterised by him offering healing to those who needed it the most, to people in all different circumstances, in all different contexts. Firstly, in a domestic setting with Simon's mother-in-law, then all of the sick people from the area who were brought to him at sundown and then of course the man with leprosy that individual healing of a particular need rather similar to yesterday's situation with the man with the unclean spirit Jesus's mission is clear it is about offering healing to those who need it wherever they need it and he's continually offering himself in that way yet notice also that he still finds time to be alone with God, even getting up very in the early morning to find that prayer time, to be with God, to have communion with God, to really fortify himself and strengthen himself for the work that he has to do. Let us pray. Lord God, we pray that your church and we as its members may reach out to all those who need healing in our community, in whatever situation, in whatever context. But may we also find that time to be with you in the silence and in the stillness. We ask this through Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me once again, and I hope to see you tomorrow for day four.